fired all the way down, coming back. And there you can see the recovery vessel, uh, a live shot of that. Um, we're going to see a bit more of that later today. Oh, and, and currently you can see on your screen that they are reconfiguring their seats. So you can see that the seats are rotating down and that is happening live right now in preparation for splashdown. Got brace for drogue window. And looked like the seat rotation was completed and now they are ready for those drogue parachutes to deploy. What you're seeing on your screen is a live view of the Dragon capsule returning back to Earth. And there you can see the drogue parachutes have deployed and a cool view from the capsule itself. Shortly after, we should see the four main chutes deploy here. Visual on two healthy drogues and descent rate nominal. And excellent call outs there. You see the same marker. And we do have com visual confirmation that the drogues have deployed. Now, just waiting for the four main parachutes to deploy as well. And there you could see on your screen. Four mains have deployed. They will begin to slowly open up and help slow the vehicle, vehicle down. The vehicle is approximately moving at 119 miles per hour and the main chutes deployed at 6,500 feet. And there's an awesome view from the capsule itself looking up at the four Visual main chutes. Four healthy mains and sh descent rate nominal. Copy, we show ourselves at 1,000 meters. Copy, 1,000. Got some good call outs there. And just a few minutes away from the Axiom 3 crew splashing down back on Earth here. SpaceX Dragon, 800 meters. Copy, 800. And what you're hearing is call outs of the ground and the crew on board monitoring the altitude of the vehicle and the crew as they're making their way back down to Earth. Six hundred meters. And we're just a couple minutes away from splashdown. Landing in water is simpler, therefore more reliable than uh, landing on land. And there you can see an awesome view. It's beautiful. <laughs> the Dragon capsule, Dragon Freedom, carrying AX3 as it's 400. slowly making its way to splashdown. Now, these are absolutely fantastic views that we got um, at acquisition of Signal, Jesse. It was incredible coming back from AOS to see those good comm checks, those good visual confirmations of the vehicle coming in, and then the visual confirmations of the first drogue shoots, which deployed beautifully, and followed by the main shoots. And additionally, we got to see crew even rotate their seats to prepare for splashdown. All of these are 200 crew braced for splashdown. Copy, braced for splashdown.
Splashdown. Copy Splashdown. We are with you in 4.800. Copy. And an excellent sight to see. Welcome home, AX3. Arthur, all the observations from Some excellent views of the Dragon capsule there. The SpaceX recovery ship and team have been waiting for Dragon Splashdown, and they will now begin to make their way to the Splashdown SpaceX location. Confirm environmental assessment is not necessary. SpaceX confirms, not necessary. Some good comms there. The teams have been ready and waiting about three nautical miles away, so it's gonna take them about 30 minutes to make their way to our crew inside of Dragon.